Everybody from Trump to Kellyanne Conway talking about, no, no, stop the violence. Tommy Lauren talking about, oh my God, we can't be like the liberals and the looters. Uh-uh, you made your bet now, sweetie. It's time to lay in it, girl. Talking about stop the violence. Girl, it's just getting started. Give me your wig. Give me your, give me your, give me your wig. Give me your, give me your, give me your wig. You don't know what to do with it. Give me your, give me your, give me your wig. Give me your, give me your. Every single day I'm reminded that different demographics in this country live in completely different worlds. Because can you imagine the headlines? Can you imagine the police response if the crowd looked a little different and they walked up to the Capitol building doing this? <laughs> I bust the windows out your federal building, girl. Can you imagine if a bunch of black bodies were walking in the Capitol doing this? Breaking in the Capitol doing this? I personally thought that when the looting started that the shooting was going to start as well, but I guess that only really applies, like I said earlier, to certain demographics. What is up? My name is Adrian and I'm here to flat my gums. Make sure that you're checking out patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. I just put up an exclusive podcast episode over there like I always do every Tuesday and it was entitled New Year, Same Shit. Today really puts that title, it really puts that phrase into perspective as we see what's going on in DC. It is a mess! <laughs> First, I want to talk about some small things and then we can get into the world of politics and what's going on over there. It is an absolute, absolute disaster. I saw this real quick while I was scrolling and many of y'all know that I cannot stand this demon spawn. Uh, so, of course, I had to bring it to you. Now, Caillou, sorry, you know, wrong picture. Here we go. Caillou, PBS is saying that they're saying farewell to Caillou. And I just want to say that the evil has finally been defeated. We are no longer going to be held captive uh, by that dusty zit and his a tired baseball cap that he thinks can hide the sogginess and the uh, crustiness simultaneously of his overexposed ass scalp. So happy to know that I won't have to hear any more of his temper tantrums. The last time me and Caillou came into contact with each other on the TV screen was about 20 years ago and since then I am ready. I was so ready for him to be deleted from existence. I'm so happy that it's happening now. Uh, who says that 2021 can't be a good year after all? Caillou, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> now, seeing that there is a Smurf, seeing that there is an episode of Blue's Clues uh, hanging on top of my scalp, I have to be very careful about how I talk about other people's haircuts, but Drake, I was not expecting this. Uh, you know, it's giving me very much one more time, thanks for the memories, even though they were so great. Uh, it's giving me very much middle school emo tees. I don't know what, maybe it's for a music video or something. I don't know what's going on. You kind of were serving me the same kind of tees that Dua Lipa was serving, even though I really like Dua. <laughs> I saw somebody call her Dua Lannister and I thought that shit was funny. To me, she looks good. People were just like, oh my gosh, this is so bad. I'm like, girl, she looks cute, whatever. Somebody else that definitely caught the eyes of a whole lot of motherfuckers over the week was The Weeknd. Now, apparently over the course of this whole musical era, he's been telling uh, some kind of story. And if I dug deeper, I'm sure I can figure out what that is. But I remember this being from earlier, this being from um, the American Music Awards, and this is recently from his music video called Save Your Tears. I think in the video he was like shading the Grammys or something. It was a big statement about the Grammys. We already know that he dragged their asses uh, when the nominations, I think, came out last time. So it was just very interesting. See, he was giving me all types of ep episode of uh, Team Wolf in the face. He was giving me Werewolf in the face. Uh, no Jacob. And some people were like, oh my gosh, did he actually do this to his face? I'm like, ma'am, he... I'm pretty sure that's to get people talking and I'm pretty sure it was for a music video and you know makeup and effects and shit like that. He, it was a very smart move because the whole like the my whole timeline was talking about him. Very smart move Miss Mamas. And the last celebrity kind of news we're going to be focusing on for like literally two seconds because there's <laughs> it's only two seconds worth of shit to be talking about especially since we kind of already knew this was coming. For me I was just like how are they going to plan it out? What is going to be the, the business model behind their divorce. Uh, there's been rumors swirling around for the past how many months? Girl, Kim and Kanye, apparently reports are saying that their asses is through. They're like, they're done. They're coming up with ways to divide up the coin and you know, properties and all that shit. But I just, 
I, I don't know. Like I said, it's really not much to talk about because I'm su honestly surprised that it did not happen any sooner. The cultural appropriator and the egomaniac are going their separate ways. Uh, I don't know what you want me to say about it other than, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There is this rumor that Jeffree Star messed around with Kanye West. It, it's just, it's a rumor. I think it started on TikTok and everybody just ran with it and started believing it. Um, somebody else said that it's a rumor in the makeup community or whatever. So I don't know. If you saw Jeffree and Kanye West uh, trending, that's the reason why I've not seen any actual real evidence. So to me, it's just a rumor. But like I said, the rich and famous do not surprise me uh, one bit. But yeah, that's the rumor. I really wish I had Wonder Woman's lasso of truth. I probably use it better than she did in the last movie, No Shade. Uh, I wish I could wrap my lasso of truth around Jeffree Star and be like, hey, Miss Mamas, did you really run around? Did you, are you on a collect a nigga spree or something like that? <laughs> Let's talk about politics. Raphael Warnock makes history by becoming Georgia's first black senator. Every time I hear those types of headlines about Georgia, and also anytime I see the way that a lot of Georgians vote, I am reminded that all of Georgia is not ATL. They're saying that John Ossoff is in the lead and he won this shit as well. And from my understanding, because of that, that means the Democrats have taken uh, the Senate. And what that means is that we have Mitch McConnell. Oh, sorry. This is, <laughs> I keep messing up with these pictures. Here we go. Mitch McConnell. We can now, we're going to be referring to him uh, as the minority leader, the Senate minority leader, just like he has so many issues with minorities. Let's see uh, how he handles being a minority quote unquote leader. I thought that if you were going to be a leader, you actually have to display qualities of leadership, you actually have to take people somewhere instead of blocking progress. But I'm just happy to see him escorted off the premises. I uh, hope he packed up his fucking office with his, you know, just place any extra items, any miscellaneous items on your desk or on your, maybe they're scattered on your floor since you're, you know, moving out. Place those boxes, place those things in your office, in your laundry bag, laundry sack, built ass chin. There's gonna be plenty of room, okay, Mitch? I think it's very interesting when these saving votes or these saving decisions come in because of the votes of, of black people in the black community and, you know, the efforts of black organizers. I find it so crazy, but expected that, you know, these black organizers, black community, they're being spoken about like they're some comic book superheroes, like they're not real humans with real issues, like they're always expected, especially with the way that they be putting shit on black women, they're always expected to just be the mules, be the horses drawing the carriage in these political fights. This is one good example with somebody comparing Georgia uh, to Wakanda. This shit is crazy. Georgia is Wakanda showing up at the end of Endgame and whipping Thanos' ass and, you know, here come Gretchen talk, you know, deifying Stacey Abrams. I think that shit is hilarious because, you know, we've seen a pattern of every time these politicians, a lot of politicians rely on, oh yeah, you niggas better get out there and vote. And they get in these positions of power and nothing changes for the black community. A lot of times, a lot of these black organizers, the black community is doing so much work when it comes to politics. Meanwhile, black people disproportionately ain't got no fucking health care. They die and care more often. They still are disproportionately affected by everything from shitty ass education, educational opportunities to employment opportunities, life chances in general, you name it. So it's like, instead of these people, oh my God, oh my God, y'all are Wakanda. Thanks for saving us again and getting nothing out of it, bitch. Instead of doing that and treating people like they're caricatures or, or like I said, superhero fucking comic book characters, start actually listening to what these communities are saying and what they need from their government. Listen to them more often and not only when you need their black ass votes to help save y'all from y'all own ideologies and your own pathways to self-destruction. Grow up. And I bring up Meghan McCain because after this whole thing went down, I guess Raphael Warnock was up there doing an interview with The View and look at Meghan's face. <laughs> Look at Megan's face, I know she mad as hell. And I just wanna let her know that I am mad as hell at her since she apparently had a baby and now realizes, now she's saying that she realizes that the US needs paid maternity leave. Uh, she, was, she was talking about this on The View. She says that personal experience helped open her eyes. And I just want everyone to know that this is one of the biggest issues that I have with some of these idiots like Megan. They do not care about issues. They don't care, they don't wanna listen to any demographic, any marginalized community talking about 
uh, issues. They don't want to hear none of that shit unless it directly affects them. If you expect me to be like, yes, Megan, oh my God, thank you so much for seeing the light. You got another thing coming, bitch. It literally took you being affected uh, personally by an issue for you to be like, hey, well, maybe we should try and change things. Girl, you don't have basic human empathy. Get out of here. But anyway, the focus is still on politics and it's the results of all these elections. Like I said in the beginning of this video, the girls, and by the girls, I mean the Proud Boys and you know these crazy ass Trump supporters, they are pressed, they are bothered, they are upset um, by the fact that not only, well, I don't know if they pay that much attention to politics to know that Georgia you know, fucked them over when it came to the Senate, but we they have a, a, a whole ass presidential election that they lost. So they're mad as hell and they took their ass to the Capitol goddamn building. Now, before that happened, you know, MAGA and all their asses was in the street in D.C. just fighting the cops. And I was just like, what happened to Blue Lives Matter? Hey, what happened? Oh, uh, we know blue lives only matter when they beating on motherfucking niggas, right? That's the only time y'all actually care about blue lives. But any other time, y'all are ready to fight. Y'all are ready to fight them about masks. And y'all ready to beat their ass up about an election that you lost uh, twice. <laughs> I just find it interesting that there is no tear gas to be found. Where's the National Guard, mama? They are literally marching, they have marched on the Capitol. There are people who have gotten inside the Capitol. I've heard that, I mean, breaking windows, breaking into the motherfucking Capitol. I heard that there was shot, somebody got shot uh, in DC around all of this bullshit. I also saw like these cops taking a selfie with these people. I saw that they let their asses in in certain areas to the, to the building. I just can't imagine, like I said, other demographic niggas, anybody who looks like they may be from overseas, you know, from the brownish side, from the brown countries. <laughs> Any of these people waltzing into the fucking Capitol and walking around with podiums and shit, but can you imagine the response? Can, they would call the fucking Power Rangers, fuck the army. They would call the Guardians of the Galaxy, them bitches would call, they would call upon the Green Lantern Corps to get y'all nigga minority asses. They would be like, get y'all brown skin, you know what I mean? Big lip, wide nose, asses out the bit. Well, not even out the building because we would niggas wouldn't even make it to the motherfucking doorstep of the building. These bitches are marked, literally waltzing into the Capitol building, tearing shit up, and no one like it is crazy. And, and so when you have these people gaslighting you, the way that cops treat niggas in this country, it's not that serious, y'all are blowing it out of proportion. It was crazy when y'all did it with Miss Whitmer or whatever the hell. But y'all literally walked into a, y'all broke into a federal building and said, hey, fuck that shit. That would never be allowed, would never happen. Can you imagine, even if it was them lame ass, corny ass niggas walking around in the streets like some frat brothers with their damn suits on, even if it was these corny ass niggas in suits walking up to the Capitol, dumb motherfuckers would be out here like this, okay? And this was, I think this was a Lincoln Memorial during the summer, during these Black Lives Matter protests. This is how they was posted up at the Lincoln Memorial, okay? But, the, but these mega proud boy ass motherfuckers can go inside there and just spin around like a tornado girl? How does that work? I, let me tell you something. I'm telling you, I heard that they had to evacuate the, the building, they have to evacuate Congress, give people gas masks. Um, they're saying that the DNC evacuated also due to a specific package shortly after a pipe bomb was found at the RNC. It's crazy as hell. And these politicians, like I said earlier, are up here talking, now they're up here talking about some of them are like, oh my gosh, wait, wait, stop the violence, stop the violence. We told y'all y'all that, that your constant methods to try and incite people, we, we told y'all that your rhetoric, and you knew it, that's the whole reason why you did it. So when we told y'all that your rhetoric would end, it, this is how shit would end up, and if not worse, okay? And like I said, y'all knew exactly what you're doing, so, uh, it does give me very much disingenuous to me. Now all of a sudden y'all don't want violence. Shut the fuck up. And at this point, Trump is desperately trying to grasp for anything. He also said that the vice president has the power to reject 
fraudulently chosen electors and that is absolutely a lie. What he was referring to was the event that was like happening today, it was supposed to finish today, I guess. At the time I'm recording this, Congress had to take a recess because of the girls tearing the Capitol building up. <laughs> but what Congress was doing today was that they met in a joint session to formally count the electoral votes. And I guess because the vice president is the president of the Senate, Trump thought, I guess he has, that, that Pence had more power than he actually does in this ceremony, because that's what it is. <laughs> Mike presides over the event, but he obviously does not have the power to pick the president or, you know, just reject electors. NPR says Pence's role is more akin to a ceremonial host. What's more, the electors are not fraudulent and were certified by officials in each state last month. Keep in mind that during this event, uh, politicians can object to state certification. They can, they can try and object them, but that doesn't really mean a goddamn thing. Like NPR says, even Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has reportedly urged Republicans not to object. Objecting would put Republicans in an awkward position of supporting a challenge that is all but certain to fail, and voters may remember their efforts to overturn millions of legally cast ballots come the next election. It would seem all but certain that any attempted challenges to any of the state's electors will fail simply because Democrats hold the House majority and would not vote to overturn any of Biden's electors. I even saw him speaking like, oh my God, it's unfair. It's not fair. It's like a big ass tantrum that he's throwing. He keeps saying that it's, it's fraudulent, it's rigged. This thing has been stolen from us. So of course he activates the base and now you have these people tearing up the Capitol building. What freedom you have in this country if your skin looks a certain way, if you are deemed a part of the majority, what power and privilege you can wield in this bitch. Like really, I can't imagine nobody else that looks like me going in there and making a mess of a federal building. I, <laughs> it's crazy. Maybe some of the cops, maybe some of the police done seen they brothers and cousins and co-workers in the march <laughs> in the Capitol building. And maybe that's that why they didn't want to pull the trigger like the way they love to pull it during a traffic stop when a nigga's driving a car, a nigga's in the car. Uh, but this is a disaster. <laughs> but I guess we'll just see what happens next on the wild ass show of America's existence. Hate it! Uh, thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you check out patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. I love y'all so much. And make sure that you have a good goddamn evening.